All right, welcome back to Lifestyle Live. It's sizzling in the kitchen with JMT, Jason Michael Thomas. Yes, sir. Okay, man. You got, you know, the, the, the protein for us cooking up right now. Got, yes, sir. Got chicken going. Yes, sir. But, but the main attraction today is the crispy okra. I want to show people how to do this because mm -hmm. I grow a lot of okra, and people always say... But it's slimy, and I'm, I get irritated about that. Yeah. Right? Well, you haven't had it the right way then. So let me go. show you how this is working. We're going to leave the, the chicken going in there. Okay. But we're going to cut this on a bias, so you see how pretty that is. Oh, yeah. Look and, at how gorgeous. And this is okra from the Urban Awareness Garden. Yeah, I grew this. I picked this this morning. Actually, I sent Jason a video. That's so crazy. he might be able to show it, me showing the huge okra field we've got going on there. That's crazy. So you see how I'm slicing it? This is how easy it is to eat delicious okra. And these are like five or six kinds here that I brought with me. Now, JMC, people are probably noticing the different colors. Is there any, is there any mm -hmm. difference in taste? Or? A little bit. Okay. Just a little little hints here and there. So we're just going to put that directly in the pan. Oh, there, and there goes the garden. There's the video yeah. right now. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, wow. lots of plants there. That's not a small garden either. <laughs> no, we got two-thirds of an acre over there, so it's a, it's a nice little area. It's a city farm. Some people call it an urban farm. There yes. you go. <laughs> so you can see I'm just setting it here in the pan with a nice hot pan, and I'm using actually this, this kind of... Uh, and, and as we were uh, just looking at that video, man, like to be able to plant, you know, and, and grow and, and, and pick your own okra, yeah. like... That's got to give it like a special type of pride for you. Talk about gratifying. Mm -hmm. People come to my private dinners. Actually, we did a dish very similar to this one on Saturday for okay. for 30 people. Uh, it was a wonderful event, um, and you know, just telling them, yeah, I started making your salad in February. Right, right, right. <laughs> you right, know right. what I mean? Well, so, and, and I, I say this every time you're on, Jason. But if you have not done it, and you want to have a very special night. Have one of the private dinners at the Urban Awareness Garden because mm -hmm. it is to die for. It is an experience. An Thank experience. you, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. We we really pride ourselves with doing something that we believe is unique in the city. Yeah. One hundred percent local food. Yeah. I mean, some people talk about farm to table, and that's fine. Yeah. You can talk about it, but I have the farm. I have the table. <laughs> and literally, we pick yeah. it and we eat it yeah, right event, in front of your and, face. And if I can't grow it myself, I'm getting it from another farmer, not uh -huh. from not from some. You know, massive corporation. Well, and, and the night we were there, my wife and I picked asparagus. Before exactly. We ate asparagus. It was awesome. And how good is fresh asparagus? That's way better than <laughs> the asparagus at the grocery store. It's life changing yeah. when you get it fresh right off the plant. Uh -huh. So it's incredible. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm going to start plating this. We're going to let this brown here. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the dish similar to the dish that I did over the weekend. Okay. So this is lacto fermented kohlrabi on the bottom, and it's also got ramp ramps in there, so it's kind of pickled ramps. We're going to throw some of these black nightshade berries around the outside and in the middle here. These are little pops of flavor. They're in the, they're in the, uh, they're in the tomato family, the same family, the nightshade, well obviously black nightshade berries. And then we're going to go ahead and put three ground cherries on here. We're going to put three ground cherries around. Well, you know, we're going to do five. And you guys can taste this later. Jason's always giving me culture. Those were three things that I've yeah. never heard never of. Heard of. <laughs> That's what we say about the private dinners. Like, you're going to eat things you've never had before. Yeah. And, and Randall and I were both excited about the okra, but we're, we're super glad that there's also chicken. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. one of the, It is actually a traditional dish in Brazil. My girlfriend's Brazilian, and her mother, lo it's her favorite dish, chicken oh. and okra. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty kind of interesting. Let's check these. Let's see how they're looking. I like them nice and dark. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. You, know. you get that that Maillard reaction. Have you heard about that word? Maillard. Anyway, it's the browning. It's why brown food tastes so good. It's the description of what happens when you brown food. That's crazy. Yeah, so it it's, makes it more caramely and toasty, like making toast with yeah. bread. Okay. So that's really perfect. And once these finish up a little bit, let me know if we're running out of time because I want you guys to be able to taste this stuff. Oh, we still got a minute. We got nice, yeah. nice. So you can just see how pretty it is. You guys want to try one? It's hot. Heck yeah. And get a fork. And this is, uh, they're sautéed in olive oil, correct? Uh, no, this oh. is actually, this is actually 100% grass-fed beef tallow oh. that came from brisket drippings, <laughs> right? Wow. From my private dinner, so it's going to taste real smoky. Mm. You want a little piece? That's, yes. that's very good. There you go. Wow. It's going to be hot. Careful. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> A chicken's going to have a tough act to follow. That's yummy. It's going to be delicious. So I'm going to plate it right around the edges here okay. and add the okra to the outside of the dish. You know dish. when something's hot and you can't resist, so you just, mm -hmm. just chill real fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Mm. It's good, though, man. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Um, so, yes, and this is basically, if I just sprinkle a little bit of sumac on here, 
The sumac is really a nice acidic note for the dish, so especially on the chicken. And the final touch is this hot honey. You said you had Jeff from Eagle Creek Apiary on yes, here. Yeah. Yes, And this is literally his honey. What? Right? And I made it with my serrano peppers that I grew. Oh, my And you've got to dip the chicken in this or the okra. You guys want to try it? Thank you. Yep. Go ahead. Just And you can take little pieces of chicken if you'd rather. It'd be easier for you, maybe. Okay. Do whatever you like. I think me, me and George both approve of the <laughs> yeah. of the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Dig oh. in. Yeah, that hot honey is really tasty, too. Oh, yeah. And you got to get a little okra, a little berry in there, too, the, the, oh, the yeah. ground cherry. You got to mix it all together. Mm. It's a lot of fun. Oh, man. That's good. Mm. Um, it, it is hard to have good manners, Amber, <laughs> when you're... But this is well, so good. good. Well, you're oh, not my, trying to have no. good manners. When you're not trying. No. 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 That is A-OK. Well, you know, you're honey. eating over the sink. I'll eat a taco over the sink. Okay? Like, this is making a big mess. This is what it is, Amber. <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> they need to come up for air here. I mean, yeah, they do. Why would we do that? Why would we do that? Oh, look at that. I love <laughs> Oprah, too. We're going to have to try that. Yeah, it's a contest here. So maybe next half hour we'll get over there, I think. Next half hour. If there's anything